All right, everybody shut up, sit down. We got breaking news. We got stuff to talk about. I am Broken Games HDR coming at you once again with another video. We got breaking news. So Twisted Metal, the long, well, it's been rumored for a while. Twisted Metal that's been rumored for a while, the revival of it, is rumored to be in development by Lucid Games. The same studio that developed Destruction All-Stars. You, you know Destruction All-Stars. You know that game that released in, I think it was in February 2021 this year and died in February 2021 this year. Yeah, that one. The one that had a, a like a two-week lifespan and everybody dropped it. Yeah, that game. The developers of that game are making Twisted Metal. I'm going to get into how I feel about that a, a little a little bit later, right? But let me just, and, and this these sources seem to be solid, right? Because remember, there's there's been these Twisted Metal rumors for a while, and I didn't really want to speak on them. I didn't really want to make a video. At least I don't think I made a video on it yet. Because, you know, people, it, it was there was no real sources for it. Now we have some solid sources. Before, it was just people, you know, shooting stuff in the air and, you know, people always want to be insiders. So you can never really be, uh, you know, too safe. So I waited. So multiple sources are, rep uh, are reporting this, multiple sites, multiple media sites. So it says, according to the sources, the new uh, car combat installment of Twisted Metal um, has started early development at the at the Liverpool UK based studio because Lucid Games is in uh, is in uh, Liverpool UK. Uh, one person with knowledge of Lucid's plans suggested that the revival would be built around a free to play mo model, partly in response to Destruction All Stars' last minute transition from a premium g game to a PlayStation Plus title. If you remember. Destruction All-Stars was supposed to launch at $70. It was supposed to be a $70 game, and then they changed it to a free, quote-unquote free, PlayStation Plus game. And then about two weeks later, because the player base was so low, they had to patch in bots. Bots so that the few people that are actually on these servers could have somebody to actually play against, especially during non-prime hours, right? Because during prime hours, they could probably fill, fill a room, fill a few rooms. During non-prime hours, they couldn't find enough players to actually start a match. So they had to patch in bots like two weeks after the game released. That's really bad. When you have to patch in bots, like when you're forced to, to actually give your players a chance to actually start a match, the game is dead. That game died extremely quickly, right? So they're apparently partially based on how poorly uh, Destruction All-Stars performed, they are going with a free-to-play model um, with this next Twisted Metal, which... I don't necessarily feel like you had to make that decision on Twisted Metal based on Destruction All-Stars because I would say Twisted Metal would probably perform better and has a lot more clout, even though it, it, it's been like, a, how long has it been since the last Twisted Metal? Like 10 years? Something like that, right? I would still say Twisted Metal has a much better chance of holding an audience and a player base than Destruction All-Stars and that's because Twisted Metal, even though it's not necessarily still as relevant, it's still a brand that people, some people recognize. And Twisted Metal, and, and, and it's funny because some people kind of like tried to get on me about this. You know what, you know what the big difference between Destruction All-Stars and Twisted Metal, Twisted Metal is? What made it fun? What made Twisted Metal fun and Destruction All-Stars not fun? Guns, beautiful, gorgeous guns and weapons. I'm just going to read a quote right here. I said this January 27th, 2021. I said, I tweeted, Destruction All-Stars looks like it could be fun, which after, you know, I we actually played the game and I released my impressions. I said that game was gutter trash. But prior to that, I said Destruction All-Stars looks like it, it could be fun. Not, but I, but not gonna lie. Part of me wish 
the cars had guns so it would be twisted metal. And what did they end up making now, apparently? Twisted metal. And it's funny because when I said that, people are like, oh, you think everything needs guns. Not every game needs guns. <laughs> Why does every game need guns? Some games needs guns. Some, some game needs guns, dog. Like, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Like, crashing into other cars, like Destruction Derby, isn't fun. Shooting other cars, that's fun. It's just a fact of life. Shooting makes, for the most part, shooting makes things better. It just, it just is what it is, right? It, you don't have to be this contrarian. You don't have to try to be unique by not having weapons and guns in, in, your, in your game. For, forget trying to be unique and, and, and different. No, go with what works. Guns work. Weapons work. And that's, and, and, and hence why Destruction All -Star Stars died so fast because you know what? It didn't have weapons. I guarantee you, I would put any amount of money up. Destruction All Stars essentially being the same game except with weapons, people would still be playing it now. At least more people that are, that are playing it. More people will be playing it now than, than whatever the player base is now of like five people. I guarantee that. Guarantee it. So as we learned um, prior to this announcement, David Jaffe essentially has nothing to do with this. He has no involvement, no, uh, no connection to this. And this is obviously an IP that he started. By the way, David Jaffe is uh, getting bodied by Kana. Uh, you know, he's struggling on that game. Them, them bosses is whooping his ass. I just had to throw a little jab out there. Because, you know, David Jaffe likes to throw some jabs at Weapon Wheel Podcast. But he, he's over there getting his prostate checked by little itty-bitty bosses in Kana Bridge of Spirits. So shout out to you, Jaffe. Um, they're not including him in this, in this game. Um, so this has nothing to do with him. Uh, hey, man, maybe, maybe they'll give you a cameo. Maybe they'll give you a shout out, something like that. Uh, shout out to you, Jaffe. Um, appreciate you, you, you know, creating some of the, some of my favorite IPs. Cause I love Twisted Metal, love God of War. So, you know, but, but I got to throw some shots at Jaffe. Um, oh, you know, re respectfully, respectfully, as Blandrew would say. So we know they're working on a Twisted Metal TV show. So obviously, you know, Sony trying to cross market, cross promote, cross pollinate through all these different medias. They're like, yeah, well, let's make this Twisted Metal show and it's going to star, uh, God damn it, what's it? Uh, it's going to star Falcon. It, 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 it's going to star, oh, uh, this, um, this guy's a gangster. His real name is Clarence. I'm remembering all that, but somehow for, forgetting uh, his actual um, name. But y'all y'all know who, who he is, uh, Clarence. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be starring Clarence and, uh, that's coming in 2023 and it's, this game is apparently going to coincide with, um, Anthony Mackie. Yes. His name just came to me. Um, he also played that really, that really, he was also in that really weird and sus episode of Black Mirror. Just putting that out there. Um, great actor, by the way. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm poking fun. Um. So, yeah, it's going to coincide with the TV series and uh, that's coming out in 2023. So I guess we got the release date for essentially we might have the release date or, or release year for uh, Twisted Metal, which is 2023 going to be uh, free to play, which I'm not necessarily mad at, even though I don't think you had to do that. Because once again, Destruction All Stars is not Twisted Metal. Uh, these two games are not the same. Um but overall, let me just make one thing clear. I'm very happy that Twisted Metal is coming back because I think this is a very smart move by PlayStation because not only by them moving, uh, you know, creating a lot of uh, media, uh, TV or uh, TV shows or movies based on their IPs, which is obviously smart marketing and, you know, one, the game is going to promote the TV or movie, the movie is going to promote the game. Well, you know, that's, that's real smart, but... I've been saying for a while, there is a huge gap, a huge void in the industry for vehicular combat games. There, if you wanted to play one right now, where, where do you play? You don't really have one. You don't really, the closest you might have is like a battle mode in like Mario Kart or, or Sonic Racers or one of these kart racing games. And those aren't really you know, destruction vehicular uh, combat games are just battle modes. That's probably the closest thing you have unless I'm forgetting something. So they can take advantage of a huge gap 
huge void in, in, in the industry. I'm honestly shocked that there that there isn't like like even in the indie space, I feel I'm like why hasn't any studio made a vehicular combat game even in the indies indie space? I feel like that could be very popular, very easy. You make a, a cool vehicular combat game with weapons, I don't know, sell it for twenty, forty dollars, it, it becomes a success. I feel like that's easy. I feel like that's a layup, in my opinion. Just just from a comp a consumer standpoint, I feel like that's an easy layup. Even if you like put it on PlayStation Plus, that's 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 common sense to me. So now with this, they're tapping into a space that's been neglected. And and that's great. That that's smart. It's another PlayStation IP coming back. It's it's Sony filling a void. Uh, you know, some some people complain that uh Sony I Sony games um right now lack some variety. We're okay, we're getting a vehicular combat game. Also, another complaint about PlayStation that I've had, of course, is lack of multiplayer games. What has Sony been folk ha has what has Sony been um addressing lately? Lack of multiplayer games. We're getting rumors left and well, we get we got we got confirmations left and right. This this Sony studio is making a multiplayer game. This is they're they're, they're you know uh, they got these brand new studios making multiplayer games. There's rumors that, um, like, Guerrilla Games and uh, 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 I forgot who else it was. I think even it, it was Guerrilla Games and some and uh, s somebody else, one of these other first-party studios, working on side projects that are multiplayer games. So this is great news for me because y'all know I'm a multiplayer guy, so I'm happy to hear all of this. This is great news. They're, they're, they're addressing multiplayer, which they, they've neglected for, for a while. Like if like I've said it a whole bunch of times, if you're gonna charge people to play online, you can't just throw third party multiplayer games at us. You owe us multiplayer games because you're the one charging us. Don't tell me to play Call of Duty and all this other multiplayer. Activision isn't charging me to play online. PlayStation is charging me to play online, so PlayStation has to provide me with games to play online. So I'm happy about this. Um, am I necessarily happy that Lucid Games? Is making this not necessarily, but I'm I'm going to try to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that the biggest flaw with Destruction All Stars is simply that it didn't have guns. That was just a bad choice they made, right? I feel like I said I feel like if it had guns, it would have been a way better game. So essentially. If they can just do the bare minimum of, hey, let's cr create a driving game with great weapons. Let's make it dark toned like Twisted Metal has always been. And let's ha have great guns, great weapons, and good destruction. And, there's g and, and hopefully they get the right budget because I've also said that. I, I just said indie games, you know, that, why hasn't anybody created an indie com uh, vehicular combat game? I've also said Twisted Metal with an actual budget behind it would be phenomenal because that that one that came out, I don't know, maybe I want to say 2011, that one that came out 2011, I really liked it, but that was a budget game. Like, I don't know what what budget they gave Jaffe, but they, did, they didn't they didn't give him the budget budget. And I'm not not necessar necessarily saying like they were wrong for that. Um because I don't think they had they I don't think like at that point you know with what PlayStation was going through I don't think they fully believed like Twisted Metal was necessarily going to move the needle or help them help them out all that much right and it and it didn't so that game was very much like a budget game they they could have like put more manpower resources and funds behind it but Sony is a, is in a space right now where they're doing really well and they're putting money behind projects. So funds ain't going to be the issue this time. It's going to just be up to Lucid Games to, to put out and put out a great product. And I can't remember, what, what, what else do uh, Lucid Games have under, their, uh, have under their resume? Destruction All-Stars, Switchblade, Need for Speed, uh, Payback, um, Gran Turismo, Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, they made Goat Simulator. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know all this. Um, 
2K Drive. That was a that was a uh, a phone game. So they, they've they've made like two or three uh, driving games. Some some so they have some experience in in that division, right? And people also are th- creating the theory that PlayStation wants it. I, and I'm, I'm I I do kind of hate that whole acquisition talk at this point because. <laughs> Every move that anybody makes, PlayStation, Xbox, you know, any move that that's made, people start start to create these theory of oh, they're gonna they're gonna purchase them. Oh, they're gonna act. They're gonna acquire them. Every you know, can can we just can we just focus on the fact that they're making Twisted Metal now? Yes, is it possible that maybe in the long run, PlayStation acquires them? Yeah, I I guess. I'm not really worried about that right now. It's possible. You know, Sony does the whole courting thing where they get you to make a whole bunch of games for them uh, for a while. Uh, you know, they 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 play around with you. They court you. They date you. Then they make, make an honest woman out of you or whatever. So, yeah, that's how PlayStation moves. We know their formula of how they acquire. So, yeah, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Cool. Point is, I'm excited about Twisted Metal. I'm iffy, lukewarm about Lucid Games, but I I don't feel like making a good Twisted Metal is is something that should elude them. You know, of course, I'm not a game developer, but like just getting Twisted Metal right to me doesn't seem like the most complicated thing to have to do. You you have you had you got the blueprint. Listen, at this if if y'all having struggles, if y'all have some challenges at that point, yeah, I would say like bring Jaffe in to at least guide y'all a little bit. I don't know, give y'all some tips here and there. But it shouldn't be that complicated. It's literally put guns on cars, make cars go boom. That's it. Great game. Anybody could do it. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what y'all think about this though. Um Definitely look forward to 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 getting more news on this. I I hope it like I hope it visually looks good because you know I just want the game to be real visceral and just real like I hope the destruction is up there. I hope the destruction is really crazy and the weapons are wild and yeah man like it could be like Twisted Metal Black which was like um on PS2 you know that game didn't have a story it was just a free uh it was just a a free version of of Twisted Metal and it was amazing. It was amazing. So hopefully, you know, it could essentially be like Twisted Metal Black 2. But yeah, like I said, let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. uh, Hit the notification bell so you can, uh, you know, know anytime I upload a video or go live. Uh, Watch my Kana review. I just released my Kana review. So go watch that. Follow me on Twitter. All that good stuff. Hit the join button. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.